Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancier. I thought I would come and wish you a wonderful day to welcome you into this portal of the 6 6. My card of the day was not for you, card number 6. So it's very important. 6 is about unconditional love. It was hijacked by the dark. Huh? Uh, I'm going to pull a few records, but I thought maybe I address a few ideas before that. Is um, one is that from Krishna Murti, the, the the Indian philosopher, which was probably all the sorts of. But uh, he, he was trying to say that to be well adjusted in a society that's perverse and sick is not a sign of mental health. For for it is uh, every every tyranny is throughout the whole universe. Or the universe is a lot older than we think, and there's been all kinds of stories, civilization history on many, many, uh, and many, many planets. And, and sometimes all the tyrannies that ever on the earth, same thing. All the tyrannies that ever ever. Um, manifested, always created laws to protect their criminal activities and all their population were voluntary, this is the law that we follow it, but but the criminal law, we shouldn't follow criminal laws. And then those who try to denounce the criminal the, the criminality of the law are considered the criminal. So it, it is very, uh, we have to be system buster, to, to be respectful, to, to learn love and respect, yet to stick to what is very essential and important. And uh, there is a reconciliation between men and women. It is very important to understand that the men have not abused women in a, the, the nature of men is not to abuse women it, it, it came from a very dark the the, the black alliance is was this planet was hijacked by extraterrestrial that ampl, that that forced a system of patriarchy and then degradation of women and um, and all the, this this power elite centers and it, it was established by them to control this world uh, which, which is not really men are not responsible some of them fall prey to that but uh, so men and women have to be reconciled um, for it is the responsibility of men to create a safe world it was a, it was a, a reptilian that was talking about that for he was like very shocked but he was he was just coming out of something that was so dark that try to, to he's trying to find forgiveness with him himself but but he, he returned to the light and he was explaining that even in his society it's like the, the tyranny is like it was so so huge and the, but but it's what he was he was more his kind that abused women than than men and so so men have to make a world that is safe so women can radiate unconditional love the power has to be given the power the light has to be given to to to, to women also so that men can also radiate unconditional love um, for men is not really 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 good in um, women are, are usually better in every possible way to men except maybe physical strengths but uh, but so so in, in the administration of power yet yeah, there is a lot of women that are very masculine in the way they deal with things also and huh? so it's there's no like black and white and so um so, uh, so but most laws are good that they're here to protect people, but less is more. Huh? It's like we, we need to have more freedom to, to express ourselves as long as we do no harm. And so, um, did I pull some cards? No, pull some cards. The, the observer of the day is the, the orphan. It's, it's just about accepting the, the this time where, where just before this solar flash, it's all going to come and everything's going to be clear. The connection will be feel, felt, and we can already feel that connection. Uh, the highest wisdom is milk and honey, focusing on that which we know is is good, good for us, feels good. What we need to understand is the regeneration. There is a whole cellular and energetic regeneration. We want to call on the higher light to penetrate all our cells, all the space within our physical, mental, emotional and astral body. Uh, what we need to do is to be the truth. May the truth be. It's to to let the truth be. Uh, for it is it is important to to stick to our own truth. To, 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 uh, and the outcome is going to be a blessing from heaven beyond anything we can even expect. We don't we don't deserve it honestly. We we, we but we've prepared for it. We've been asking for it, and God is going to deliver. In order to free the planet, we need, everybody needs to move into love and respect. Until everybody moves into love and respect. They will be suffering, and so so so. But it doesn't take the whole that everybody move into love and respect to create a shift. So so that is really what is going on. And in order to really free the planet, we have it's a challenge. The Arcturians were talking about that it is to create to to be able to be the devil's advocate, to be able to be a good lawyer for any dark souls that have committed anything. To be, to are you, would you be able to represent them correctly? Because God loves them, otherwise they wouldn't exist. It's just that they have they they, they chose the role of. Um, 
uh, of the illusion. They, they chose to, and then there was those who chose the good part, those who are standing on the side of light, truth, beauty, goodness. So, so we have the good role in that sense. And some, uh, although they have uh, they have great wealth and power, they, they, at the end of time, it doesn't mean all that much. Uh, and so, so they've chosen the, the the they have the short hand of the stick, all the dark forces. So, so it's like to be able to be the devil's advocate. And if you can love the darkness, if you can love the the, the what, what the, your own shadow, what what, uh, what what just because what you see in your past, you, what you have learned from it, so says God, God accepts all that. And so, if you can really love the darkness, it it will disappear. What resists persists. If you fight against the darkness, it will not work. Hatred against hatred will not work. It's only about love, respect, wisdom. And, and to continue to even even trace those who do not have love and respect to treat them with love and respect. This is the only way. It's gonna it's gonna eventually um, it's gonna be eventually transformed. So I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you so much for your presence. I thank you for for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I thank you for your donations, for your support. It's very kind. And uh, I've received a message from Paradise. It's a messenger. Actually, I'm allowed to talk about it. I, I don't really know what. I haven't really get much information from him. He was just came came to me the the other night. He just said that he came. Um, my father in on paradise sent him here. So, so I, I was trying to. I'm sure he will assist me with with my mission. And so so I'm very grateful to to my creator, to my father, to my to to send uh, to to send um, and because uh, see look. We all have the, the, the same God connection. The, the, the God self is what belongs to all of us. And yet after that, we all have our own truth within that truth. So it's, it's about uh, allowing this connection to be restored and to, 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 to like and love ourselves, even the human aspect, even the, the dark part of ourselves, to be fully in integration and progressively to, to move back into the alignment that allows us to, to always see, to utilize the darker side for our spiritual evolution and not to be dominated by it, to, to be lucid in, in that sense. Well, I just so I share, so share a little bit about the law. For it's all about understanding the higher laws of the universe. The more we understand the laws uh, of the universe, the, the, everything unfolds naturally after that. Well, I'm going to finish with a song and pull out some oracles, an old song about the dreams that will be coming true. It's called Over the Rainbow. La, 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 la. La 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 Somewhere over the rainbow Way up high There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream ready to come true. Someday I wish upon a star and wakes up where the clouds are far behind me, where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow, why then, oh, why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? is an excellent question for we can actually we'll, we'll, we'll grow wings eventually and learn to fly in the sky it is nothing um, and but the, the, we, we have to learn to write that's the right question to be or not to be i am that i am to recognize yourself as an extension of source a divine child of god that is once that is realized everything else will fall into place so it is but it is a long process to to integrate to accept to learn to live in in the relay in, in relationship to all those new energies that are so much more settled 
Well, thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful continuation, and, and a wonderful experience in this 6 6 portal. Be ready for the solar flash. Be ready. Continue to purify yourself. Be ready for, for receiving larger amount of energy, clarity, understanding, and, and for the doors to the world to open as well. Uh, thank you very much. Namaste.